Meghan Markle and Prince Harry fans are furious after a commentator shared his New Year's wish for the Sussex couple. Conservative commentator and GB News presenter Darren Grimes took to Twitter and wrote, One of my most passionate hopes and prayers for 2022 is that the world's media finally meets the demands for privacy issued by the shy and retiring royals Harry and Meghan, meaning we never have to hear from them ever again. But Mr. Grimes's post prompted a backlash from some Twitter users. One with the handle at Danielle underscore Piper 7 replied, If you could refrain from tweeting about them for at least five minutes, that would also be a start. Another, at Tut underscore Brian, wrote, Set an example then. A third, at Ron Wiltshire 17, added, Try leading by example. A right to privacy literally means the right to choose what you wish to be released they can talk about whatever they wish, as it's their right to decide what's in the public domain. That's what privacy is, it doesn't mean they have to be hidden. However, others agreed with Mr. Grimes and one user, at Obart Rocket 595 commented, we can live in hope. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were the recipients of criticism from locals in London when asked about what they think of the couple in an interview about the events that happened to the royal family in 2021. GB News asked members of the public for their opinions on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for its Alistair Stewart, a royal year 2021 programme. The show host acknowledged that it has been a turbulent year for the British royals before asking people about their most memorable moment among the events in the royal household. One local told royal reporter Cameron Walker Meghan and Harry, up. It's mainly bad, when asked why, the person replied, just everything surrounding them, the bad press, the bad publicity, all of it. It is just poor. Another said Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have disgraced the royal family and claimed that the further away they are the better. Another commented on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Oprah interview and said, there's no interaction. You should just let them speak and say things and it was clearly shown afterward there's a lot of inaccuracies. However, one woman supported the Duchess of Sussex and applauded her for sharing what she went through in the interview in March. Meghan Markle had accused the palace of racism after one senior royal allegedly raised concerns about how dark their son Archie's skin color would be before he was born. She also revealed that she had suicidal thoughts and asked for help for her mental health from the firm but they turned their backs on her. One woman told Walker that she could relate to the former Suits star saying, Meghan coming out and telling us what she went through in the family. I mean coming from a minority background that kind of stayed. Meghan Markle would continue to create a few shockwaves in the year to come and around the Queen's Jubilee celebrations. This claim was made by Princess Diana's confidant and astrologer Debbie Frank. Frank told that during March she's looking for new ventures that will add a different dimension to her role in life and once again she's capable of pulling things out of the hat that create a few shockwaves. Meghan will resist anything that pigeonholes her during this time and will take the lead to steer outside of her comfort zone. Frank mentioned how Meghan was always born to radiate a strong presence, which is among the personalities of Leos. She also pointed out how the Duchess of Sussex's need to find her voice and speak her truth may jangle other royals. However, she believes that the cosmos settles into a calmer picture for Meghan during the autumn. After stepping down from their royal duties and leaving the royal family in 2020, the Duchess seems to have gained the confidence to speak and share her truth. Have gained the confidence.